Despite the longest run of labor, peace, and prosperity in all of sports, the owners were not satisfied with the deal they signed in 2006 and unanimously voted to lock out the players in 2011. This was an attempt to reverse years of gains by the players and the NFLPA in wages, benefits, and working conditions. When the owners took the stance to lock us out, you, know, you can't go to work, it wasn't a game anymore. It wasn't just a game of football, it was real life business. We were informed the whole time. As soon as I came into the league, uh, I remember having meetings and talking about the lockout will happen, uh, we have to prepare for it, and just uh, being knowledgeable and knowing what was going to happen and what we had to do next, uh, that was huge for us. We were fortunate enough to uh, have an insurance policy to protect our guys financially in the event of a work stoppage. It's definitely kind of a David and Goliath thing. The league is big and we're matched up against billionaires. Our only bit of leverage was how long we could outlast them. So it worked twofold. Not only did it embolden our players to be able to stand strong, to some degree it let the owners know that we meant business and they no longer had the upper hand. It's unfortunate that they have to happen at all because as the players and as a union, we want to play. We want to, we want to fair workplace just like every other place. But under the leadership of new executive director DeMora Smith, the players banded together and met the owners eye to eye, avoided missing work, and established a new CBA, which provides even more gains for current and former players. This is a players union. And, um, you know, for me coming in, obviously it, it was a tremendous opportunity, but, you know, I, I got to follow in the footsteps of Gene Upshaw. I mean, I'm not sure any executive director, any leader could ever ask for anything more than stepping into an organization that was already strong, had a reputation for fighting. Over the history of the organization, there was never a player in the negotiating room. And so when D came in, he goes, if I'm going to do this, you're going to do this. The players are going to deliver the message. And that's what we did. I feel it was a real defining moment, especially having players at the bargaining table. I'm going to give a lot of credit to D Smith for really empowering us uh, as leaders, as an executive committee, to be present and to be involved and to have a really strong voice. Over the last 14 days, we've culminated a process that began two years ago. I've been involved with the Players Association for seven years now, and so this is the first time that I felt like the players were really at the advancement of the negotiation part, that it wasn't about the lawyers, it wasn't about management, that the players were leading the cause. When it's all said and done, I hope we can all say we gave our all, we did what was fair, we did what was right, and it was worth it. Because everyone before you have been willing to sacrifice. We can't be any different.